Oh, hi everyone, this is Krista Ralaksmi Ditton and I'm saying aloha from San Diego. And if you get into this uh, live today, please say aloha and uh, where you are listening from, even when you are listening this um, a little later, um, would be really nice to hear from you. And if you hear me well, uh, give me also thumbs up so I know that everything is working uh, fine. So I believe that we all have been born here with um, a hidden treasure box. And that hidden treasure box actually has all of our talents inside. And if we start to use those talents, we actually will be able to start to create holistic abundance, which then will help us to manifest the inner fairy tales we have inside of us. And for years, I have helped people to do that. And it has been uh, such an amazing journey. And uh, during the last years, I've actually uh, focused more and more about health issues as well. And um, in this journey, I have discovered uh, many different things. I've done extra research. And um, this is why today's topic is about sugar. So I will first um, talk about where I got this idea and um, uh, to talk about it today, uh, what happened in my personal life, and then uh, we go into the points why sugar is bad for you. Uh, we then talk a little bit about the connection to alkaline and acidity and even cancer. And then um, I will give you some um, ideas how sugar can be good for us and then uh, what can we do in order to kind of, you know, balance things out so that um, sugar wouldn't be our enemy. So this is the plan for today. So um, during this Christmas time, uh, we visited Michael's mom, who uh, usually cooks lots of um, amazing Christmas cookies. Uh, her tradition is to do at least 400 of those, and then uh, she gives most of those away. And um, as we were there, they are super good, like kind of like tannish uh, style cookies. So um, it's really hard to say no. I managed to do it more than usual, but still, I um, kind of started to overeat a little bit of um, sugary thing, things. And because this year I have changed my menu uh, one more time, I have worked out more. Uh, so in many ways, I have created more balance um, health-wise and all, all the other levels as well. Um, so um, this is also why when I overdo something like with this uh, Christmas, you know, with sugar, then things actually um, start to, um, like my body starts to give me feedback instantly. And then I know like, okay, now I overdid this. Um, so how can I take care of my body. And the first thing I did, of course, was, which is also oftentimes people don't do, is I basically uh, asked forgiveness from my body that I did that because um, it's just, um, it was just so good. I um, just wanted to experience this. And um, later I will share um, how we can do more conscious choices um, in connection to situations like this, you know. And I was so lucky because this year I've actually lost over 30 pounds and um, I've kept up my uh, regime with my gym and workouts and so on. Um, and now I'm even luckier because Santa brought me a nice uh, Garmin watch so I can uh, measure more of my activities and um, uh, see where I am. Uh, so it feels like I have like additional uh, accountability partner there. So um, everything what helps, why not? So, so here I will share with you some um, thoughts why sugar is bad for you. So um, this is based on several different um, researches I have done over the years and also some um, on my own uh, uh, personal experience. So I'll say directly that I'm no doctor, I have no um, medical um, background, so this is based on uh, my research and my experiments and my experiences. So um, I would recommend you to listen, make notes if um, this works for you, put some of it um, into works and experiment with it as well and see what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So. Uh, use it as that. So, 
So uh, sugar causes our glucose levels to spike and plummet. So um, if we overdo sugar, we will have mood swings, we may have fatigue, headache, we may also have false food cravings. Um, in addition also, uh, it may uh, kick us out of emotional balance. And this is something I actually experienced after overdoing a little bit with the Christmas uh, cookies. I, I couldn't sleep, I was very nervous, my energy and emotions were all over the place. And um, I could also feel um, some things with my body were not functioning the way they usually do. And now I've already uh, discovered um, how my body is giving me uh, signs when I've overdone it and also when it's too acidic and, you know, other things like that. So um, it's a good like kind of wake up call like, hey, you did like a little overdo here. <laughs> so and one of the main things is um, also if you overdo sugar, uh, you may get um, the risk of obesity, um, diabetes and heart disease. And um, obesity is um, and diabetes is something which is like a major problem, I think, all over the world, but especially here in the United States. So um, it's something to really, you know, uh, look at. Um, there has been done research where it's also said um, not only can uh, overdoing sugar, you know, influence your immune system, it can actually also uh, influence, um, you know, um, somewhat uh, cancer cells and um, uh, some influence um, they have seen is actually that candida uh, is connected to, you know, um, also like different ways of how it kind of helps to develop more of um, cancer in different parts of the body. And um, so if we uh, eat more than normal sugar, it can actually also start to um, develop and feed um, those cells. So um, this is a really interesting new uh, research, which um, has been actually out there for a while, but not very popular because um, then, you know, uh, then it would create problems for other um, organizations and uh, functions. So, uh, but this is something to look into at. So, um, also, uh, too much sugar may um, uh, make you uh, older faster and also create your wrinkles, uh, you know. So, um, especially for the ladies, um, if you want to stay young and uh, less wrinkles, so um, cut down the sugar. Uh, very easy, right? So it's um, pretty bad also for uh, tooth and teeth. Uh, so um, if you overdo it, so you definitely need to take care uh, to brush your teeth uh, more often so that it doesn't um, create um, uh, issues there. Um, also, when we have uh, gum disease, um, it can actually influence also our heart. This is also one research uh, which has been recently done. So um, interesting uh, connection there. In one of the uh, universities, they actually did a little um, research on when they actually uh, changed the uh, lunch menu and uh, took more sugar off it. Um, all the students were actually performing academically much better and also they were more cognitively um, kind of active and open. So um, a really good point, you know, um, if you're working a lot with mental capacity, so um, there is something to think about. So too much sugar increases stress, um, so which is also one of the reasons um, which actually can kick in more acidity in your body. So um that's uh, no good either so to um avoid that is one of the ways is to actually you know meditate or work out more um so different ways which work for you you know and if we like eat too much sugar then what happens is that um, many of the very important vitamins um may actually you know uh, not get integrated into our body because it just takes over so um, not a good thing to have you know 
So um, when we are um, actually also looking um, into the connection of sugar and alkaline and um, acidity, um, nowadays you can actually go to the pharmacy and get the little strips which can help you to figure out, um, you know, uh, where your uh, sugar levels, uh, I mean, the acidity or uh, alkaline uh, is. And then um, after you do that, you you know, like what you should look uh, more. So if you eat too much sugar, you create more acid in your um, whole body and system. So in order to avoid that um, is basically to know which foods are alkaline and also which food are acid because if you have too much acid um, in your body you may have issues like fatigue joint pain um, headaches chronic pain stiff neck uh, sluggish depression uh, brain fog so and alkaline foods for example um, are spinach broccoli carrots cauliflower strawberries um, and um, acid is flour, uh, meat, eggs, sugar, chocolate, cream cheese, coffee, soft drinks, um, fruit juices, um, and popcorn and nuts. And then, of course, there is more. But now, um, to uh, really get like um, uh, a little overview, uh, what is going on is really good to actually take like a week where you write down what you eat and then try to figure out also kind of measure how many calories, how much sugar, um, everything you are kind of eating um, is uh, consisting of because then this gives a really good overview um, where you are because most people, um, if you have eaten wrong or done stuff wrong uh, for a long time, you have no idea. Uh, your body also doesn't know different, so you feel um, it's normal. So one of the huge things which is actually missing in nowadays education system is how to eat healthy and you know uh, better. And uh, this is why we have to now um, find that information ourselves and experiment uh, what works for us and according to our body weight and health situation and issues we have, uh, figure out that, you know, uh, balanced diet for us. So one of the ways then um, to kind of uh, kick in, uh, so to say, more, um, uh, make your body more alkaline uh, pretty fast is um, uh, to do also uh, lemon water. So they say, um you know um just one slice of uh lemon and um, squeeze it into the water and a glass of that like before you even wake up uh, properly would be uh, uh, helpful and uh, also uh, one teaspoon of uh, baking soda plus a cup of water um, is really good um, sometimes they even say to take that like 30 minutes before eating um, so it kind of neutralizes um, or after eating, so uh, depends. So, um, and also um, more exercise, because with exercise, what also happens is that you push out um, unnecessary toxins. And when you push out those um, unnecessary toxins, then, you know, uh, your whole body uh, will uh, get also uh, uh, you know, less acidic um, because um, that's the natural thing um, to happen. And then, uh, of course, um, it's good to limit alcohol because that's like poor acid um, and uh, eat less acidic foods. Um, also, you could drink alkaline water. There are certain machines which nowadays actually can make alkaline water. Um, in some places, they even uh, sell alkaline water. So, um, it's really good to check. Um, then different multivitamins support um, that as well. And raw unsalted almonds help to build up more calcium and magnesium and balances acidity as well, um, plus the blood sugar. Um, that's a good um, one, which I didn't even know that that way. Um, and then, of course, reduce intake of sugar through like soda, candy, cake, um, ketchup even, you know, 
uh, reduce caffeine and reduce stress and um, also smoking. Um, who would have like thought that smoking can also influence your acidity, you know? So, and also uh, when you started you, you know, reading the labels and calculating and so on. So one of the good things to think about and calculating is that um, four uh, grams of sugar is actually one teaspoon of sugar. So if you see um, on the label, there is like 26 grams of sugar, try to estimate like how many uh, teaspoons that is. So um, that's going to be like quite an interesting calculation uh, to figure out. Um, I saw also once a documentary where they took a whole group of people and they wrote down like what and how much sugar they ate per day. And then they actually measured it by teaspoons and showed them like, are you aware that this is the amount of sugar you're actually eating every day? And of course, they were all shocked um, because you don't think about those things. So and uh, little new habits started to help them uh, to change that. So um, like one of the things which I noticed myself was, you know, when we drive somewhere, we have a toilet break and, you know, go to the, um, to the petrol station. And oftentimes, you know, it's kind of a habit like to buy a snack, you know, um, but then be prepared. Uh, go to a trip and have your snack already prepared. So your apple and your almonds, for example. So you save money, you save time, you save also, um, you know, don't uh, eat in so much acidity. So um, a good thing to do. So um, also kind of look into where you could eat uh, more natural sugar, you know, so um, you know, there are uh, lots of uh, different foods which have it, like, you know, uh, honey, maple syrup, fruits, uh, beets, carrots, you know, um, do a little research and um, how you can get it um, from these different uh, foods, you know. Um, and then uh, think of the, you know, uh, conscious choice. So, um, now I know that, you know, for me, for example, um, to lose like 450 calories means like one hour really kind of uh, high speed bicycling uh, in the gym. So by thinking, OK, uh, this is the amount of calories. And then I have a piece of chocolate there. So I know like, OK, this equals for one hour in the gym or two hours in the gym. So the main issue also with um, uh, extra weight is that we take in too much and we don't use all of these calories so if you want to balance things out and also start to lose weight you actually have to um, lessen the amount of calories you take in and uh, do more activities and exercise and this is the way you kind of start to uh, lose weight that's a very simple thing you know so um, one of the things also oftentimes is connected to sugar is that we think that, you know, um, it's uh, making me feel good. And yeah, if you really feel bad and just take this one candy and, you know, you eat it slow and you enjoy it and you do it consciously and you stop when you kind of are done with this one piece, then you don't need to feel guilty because this is okay. You, you know, move enough, you, everything else is in balance or the same. You go and visit someone and they do like really beautiful cake and that's just one cake doesn't kill you because you, you know, eat normally other times. So um, it balanced things out. So uh, very good. So and then um, there is a recommendation that um, a woman could eat one uh, and a half to two cups of um, uh, uh, fruits per day or berries and men two to two and a half cups. So um, that's a good way to also kind of um, get your sugar intake in a natural way. Um, and then also they recommend to actually eat the whole fruit instead of choosing it because you get more, um, you know, nutrients plus um, all the other things uh, more out of it than just juicing it. So um, that can be a good tip as well. So 
and then um, one really good thing is um, you know um, to consider is that no more than 10% of total calories uh, shouldn't come like um, uh, calories coming from added sugar uh, so to say they say uh, women should use six uh, teaspoons of added sugar daily uh, and men nine uh, teaspoons so um, not more than that so um, it's a good kind of um, thing to remember too so um, before I go to the uh, last bit of uh, suggestions I also kind of go through a little list why sugar is our friend so uh, oftentimes people don't know that um, sugar actually travels to body cells and then um, provides energy but also helps to form proteins so um, we need a little bit of sugar for that plus um, we need extra energy and it can also boost your brain especially if you do lots of um, mental activity and um, it can also enhance other flavors. It can um, help the food um, color development. Uh, it can also stabilize food. Um, so uh, there are lots of um, different good things um, as well. And now um, one um, little list um, which I found um, just actually yesterday was um, I was doing some um, cleaning of my computer and then this popped up, you know, um, it's from Yoga Body uh, Naturals and this um, is a really amazing company. Their um, head office is based in Spain and they are behind the beautiful um, uh, yoga trapeze um, uh, set up there. And there was this whole, you know, um, uh, material about sugar. And some of the suggestions um, in the end are really kind of uh, cool, which um, each one of us could also kind of uh, put into practice. So uh, here they recommend eat one gram of carbs per um, pound of ideal body weight per day. Uh, so this is also you can estimate, um, take your height and um, figure out what is your um, estimated, um, you know, uh, right body weight um, and then uh, see how many grams of carbs uh, that will be. Uh, focus on clean protein, healthy fats and low glucemic foods at each meal. So he, uh, here um, it's, it's also really well kind of um, suggested to um, yeah, kind of use more protein and healthy fats instead of too much sugar um, or carbohydrates. So um, it's a really good, um, you know, uh, tip. And oftentimes also we don't even know what healthy fats are. So uh, if we are eating um, animal meat, which is, you know, um, produced in like farms, what oftentimes happens is also that these uh, farms are actually, um, you know, um, there's lots of toxicity and those animals actually um, save um, and have those toxins in their fat. So when you are eating that meat, you're actually eating in those toxins um, and bad things. So, um, yeah, so kind of find out where the food is coming from, uh, what condition the animals have been, um, and what choices you can do according to that as well. Or um, even, you know, oils, um, you know, uh, coconut, um, coconut oil is good, um, avocado oil is good, but then also you have to see that it's done in a certain way, so um, it works. It's a little more, you know, expensive, but it's definitely worth it because it's taking care of your tempo. So, um, and then when you uh, go to uh, buy food, so go first to, you know, uh, where you have the fresh food, um, you know, veggies and fruits and so on, and then go to the middle section where you have um, the rest, you know, canned foods and so on, and then read the labels and see like what's in there. So um, you you are aware. And in no circumstances, um, it's basically, I say the same thing. Um, if you want to uh, 
build like sustainable health over the years to come. Um, all these diets and craziness, which I have done so many in my life, doesn't really help. What really helps is a balanced diet and also a really well working uh, exercise schedule. So uh, stop like, you know, starving and doing those crazy diets, which um, oftentimes uh, it's very hard to uh, keep going like sustainably. So um, now also with my new menu, when I see uh, when I um, eat my breakfast, it's so well put together that I'm completely content till my next snack. Um, and what I really liked about this last one is that you have a meal and then you have a little snack and then you have a meal and then you have a little snack and then you have a meal. So some people say that that's not right because then you are digesting all the time. But um, I believe that it actually boosts the metabolism and also keeps the blood sugar um, kind of in a more, um, you know, um, balanced state like that. It doesn't go up and down, up and down all the time. So um, this is something I have been experimenting this year. Uh, it has worked for me. Um, and then also snacks. When you talk about snacks, it has to be you know, um, not it's like like a whole meal itself, but, you know, uh, half an apple, a little spread of, um, you know, peanut butter on it or um, half an apple with five almonds or, um, you know, pomegranate with um, slices of almonds and stuff. So it's like kind of um, different, but good, um, healthy snacks, um, which really, really work. So and um, uh, so very good to remember to be moderate in uh, kind of uh, keep everything in balance. So um, if you are overeating something, then, you know, um, just stop before it's too late and um, be just very conscious and uh, aware. And uh, Yoga Body is also, um, uh, you know, uh, recommending um, to check your morning blood glucose each day upon waking and write it down. So um, there are different ways to do that. And um, it's really good. I recommend it too. And one of the other guides uh, who I've been working now is Timothy Ferris, the four hour body. Um, and here he talks about, you know, how to lose fat and weight and um, has done lots of experiments with glucose and like um, what is influencing it and how um, and lots of good material. And it also has additional material actually on um, on uh, online. So you can also see more like videos and things. So. Okay, so um, this will be all for today. Um, I hope you um, really enjoyed this uh, topic and uh, we'll watch uh, more of your um, beautiful uh, body and take care of it better. And this was the last uh, live for this year with me and um, um, I, I'm sure I will figure out like what and how the next year will everything will be set up and with Michael will also start something exciting which you will hear more about in a bit so I wish you all the very best and the most amazing happy new year mahalo and thank you all for being here following and um, please share with many who you think would get um, good ideas from this video as well mahalo <laughs>